Hello, this is Joshua for Frost Dragon Designs, and today I'd like to talk to you about my jellyfish cat, Heart Enamel Pin. This pin is part of my monthly cute cat pin club. Every month, members of the club get a new cute cat pin sent to them directly in the mail. If you join the club anytime before the end of June 2024, the first pin you'll receive is the jellyfish cat. Now let's get into the design. So this pin design is both the largest and most costly to produce pin that I have ever included in the Cute Cat Pin Club. It's two and one quarter inches in its longest dimension. So that's, that's the largest one I've ever released through the club. Now that's not the largest pin I've ever had produced. That would be uh, the four inch uh, Skyfox Island limited edition pins. Those were absolutely huge. Uh, my joke is that you could surf cheese on those. Um, but this is pretty big for a pin club pin, uh, and it was definitely the most expensive to have produced. Now, I actually don't think that the cost had anything to do, well, something to do, but it wasn't, it wasn't dictated by the size. I think what really caused the price to jump up was all the little cutouts, um, in the final design, all those little, um, tentacle things that the jellyfish has, that's a lot of extra work for them to not only create the cutouts for the mold, but also, you know, cleaning those when they're doing the final polish uh, and the rough polish, um, you know, making sure there aren't burrs on the edges. Um, every time there's a cutout, that's an additional surface area that they have to make sure is clean of, you know, those sharp little pieces of metal that are left over from the molding process. It was kind of funny when I got my, my initial quote back, uh, from my production partner, I kind of sucked in a little bit of air and then thought to myself, well, it's only one pin and I really do like this design. Uh, so let's go ahead and just move forward with it. So I really hope you like this one because I, I uh, you know, took a, a little bit of a hit with this one, but you know, it's one of those things where I feel like it all balances out in the end, right? I mean, um, not, I don't have to maximize profit on every single pin design. Sometimes I can just do something because I think it's beautiful. And that's really the case of what happened here. It started as a little uh, doodle in my sketchbook. Uh, well, it really started with me just writing jellyfish cat question mark one night. And then when I reviewed that the next day, I was like, okay, sure, let's try that. And I did a little sketch and I liked that. And, you know, I just love the, the aesthetic of jellyfish. They're so ethereal the way they're translucent and they float in the water and it's just... I find them mesmerizing, and I was just like, you know what, I want to try and bring that into a pin design. Now, I mean, did I really achieve that goal? I, I don't know, but, you know, I, I'm happy with this end result. You'll notice that the colors that you see here are not the colors that the final pin is. After I finished the, the main design, I probably ran through about 30 or 40 different color variations, including some rainbow ones and red ones and all kinds of other things. Um, but I landed on the blue and white palette of the final pin because it reminded me of a china pattern that my, my grandmother had when I was a kid, and it just felt peaceful and serene. And I think it just, it met what I was looking for at the time when I designed it. Overall, I am very happy with this pin design, uh, and I hope you enjoyed watching me create it. Uh, if you did, please go ahead, like, and subscribe. I try to release one to two new videos a week, uh, and I would absolutely love to have you along for the next one. So thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.